speed of doom sundays episode two map two mysterious cove let's get straight into this one it's only map two it's probably the easiest one in the entire world and you know map one wasn't that hard so that should give you an idea of what we're dealing with here but behold the mucus flow yeah no so in speed of doom every even numbered map was by dark wave and every odd numbered map by joshi of course so map one was joshi and now we're in dark waves world and he wears his influences on his sleeve and his influences consist of a the mucus flow and b the mucus flow but this was back in 2009 2010 so way before mount Payne and decino and so on made the mucus flow a household name in the doom community i'm sure it was a popular map back then as well like it was but nonetheless not quite as popular as now and so dark wave had good taste you've got to say that and if you're going to just sort of pop your influences you may as well go all out and as you're seeing with these initial traps we're going to see a lot even in map two of a trope that speed of doom does a lot you're going to see a lot of something it does a lot if that makes sense <laughs> traps pop-up monsters, teleport traps, all kinds of ambushes, you name it, this has got it. You want mooks flow, you want traps, you want inside-outside dynamics, welcome to Speed of Doom. But the thing is, it's all done extremely well. The uh, aesthetics look great, the combat design is great, the map flow is great. It's all just really, really good stuff. Hence why I and a lot of people really like this one. How did you get trapped in there behind the Cacodemon? That's a long way for an Arachnotron to go for a walk. Yeah, and another thing Darkwave really likes to do is use Arachnotrons. And I'm a big fan of that. I think the Arachnotron is slightly underutilized in Doom monster rosters. Just gets relegated to being a turret all the time, which it's good at, of course. It's an appropriate turret enemy that gets used for that well. But, you know, use it in other situations as well, and Darkwave does. Also, check this out, the aesthetic on this lift, with the switches like that and this texture choice. This is 100% just the mucus flow. But, like I say, done really, really well. Good taste and inspirations. Now... Let's send the multi-story lift up again because there's a hidden switch on this side of it which gives us a whack whack pack and i want the whack whack pack to do a bit of whack whack this is another monster that dark wave likes to use a lot we're going to see a lot of pain elementals there is number one of many um yeah him teleported behind me because this map is full of traps. In fact, this ward is full of traps. Did I punch the cacodemon? Whack whack the cat cack. Probably not because what the hell am I doing? That's just going horrendously. I'm trying to avoid both monsters at once and instead just getting in my own way. Yeah. This is dangerous. There we go. Oh, I still want to be punching. Because there are more tankies. So yeah, as you can probably see from my experience here in map 2, it's pretty straightforward. I think I've already said that, right? This is like the easiest map in Speed of Doom, in my opinion. Which I guess gives you both an idea of uh, how relatively difficult I actually think map 1 is, despite not having any trouble with it. I guess because you're forced to do a fair bit of Tyson. Well, you're not forced to, but you're encouraged to do a fair bit of Tyson, which I'm not great at. There we go. You drop down there, you get a Mega Armor. Whereas Map 2 is a far more straightforward map, so... But it's easy, so... It's about as easy as Speed of Doom is ever going to be, right here, right now. Oh yeah, I've already pressed that. We want to jump to here to progress the map. We finally get a Chain Gun, but... Yep, <laughs> of course, it's a trap, because everything in Speed of Doom is. Also, you may be noticing that we've only got single barrel shotgun. Speed of Doom, in sort of classic WOD style, classic big mega WOD style, 
Don't forget this switch here, because it opens a lift here, but the main switch well, it's the stairs, that's where we want to go. Uh, yeah, in classic main ward style, Speed of Doom makes you earn the Super Shotgun. You don't get it for the first few maps. We do get a rocket launcher if you find this secret. Okay, let's just go grab it because, yep. Oh, of course, it's trapped with a Mancubus. That makes sense, I guess. Whoops! Yep. This is the only fight in the map. Damn it. That is maybe a bit tricky, especially if you didn't know it was coming. I mean, when you do know it's coming, you do what I just did and just run around the corner and, uh, wreck house luckily we get the rocket launcher because without the super shotgun fights like that are pretty tedious yeah now we get to go in this really cool little storage area uh, let's punch i really like the design of this area and of course the combat design all throughout speed of doom i think i've already said this but he's really good Just cleaning out at the moment. As you can see, we get a blue key, but also that crate has a different coloured stripe on it, which means we get a secret. And well, let's just grab the blue key. I, oh, of course. I think using the rockets to. Oh my god, actually. Take out that Arachnatron works out pretty good. And I had some rockets left over, so may as well just unload them. I made that look way harder than it is because I got myself sort of surrounded unnecessarily. If you just quickly rocket that Arachnatron and then just calmly shock on everything, it's really actually not that hard. But, you know, raise the stakes a little bit, raise the tension. Oh, yeah, imp teleports behind you. The theme throughout the map. And we're nearly done here. I got no rockets, though. Oh, I didn't even kill these guys. They were there from, right from the start, the shotgunners and so on there. But actually, this might work out. Can I get you two to fight, just for some fun? Oh, I've already shot the Mancubus. Oh god, don't suddenly die like an idiot. Come on, fight, just for fun. Damn it, alright. Alright, I'll just do this, we're wasting time. Why couldn't your fat ass take 100 steps much faster? I think it's a hundred steps they have to take. And we're done. Missing one item, I don't know what that was, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. So yeah, that's Mysterious Cove. We're still in Easy Town right now. The next few maps even. I think map seven is the first map that I would say that I personally have a bit of trouble with. Um, not to say that the maps are easy up until then. Map six has got, you know, moments that can definitely kill you. And map Oh, that's probably the only one really that I'm, you know, maybe. Map 7 is the first one where I think, okay, this one's going to take a little bit of effort to do with Lime Coventry. But still, it's an awesome ward. Let's just enjoy the ride while we're in this relatively easy first half. All the way up to map 15. Cool stuff. I don't expect to have too much trouble.